You know, I didn't think there would ever come a time where I talk about Roblox here. I don't even play the game, but that doesn't mean I'm not interested in seeing people that want to play the game be able to play it under Linux. And until very recently, that was pretty easy to do. Like a lot of games out there, especially after the Steam Deck, it just worked in Wine. There wasn't even any extra tweaking you had to do. Both the 32-bit and 64-bit clients just worked perfectly fine. That was until a couple of days ago when this was reported over on the Roblox dev forums. The new Roblox 64-bit Bifron client forbids Wine users from using it, most likely unintentional. Roblox appears to be testing a brand new 64-bit client with Bifron implemented. A few users have been granted access to this client in what looks like an A-B test. Now, you may or may not have heard of Bifron. This is a fairly obscure anti-cheat system that was purchased by Roblox Corporation. Uh, I think they spent like 11.6 million, which to a company like Roblox isn't even a dot on their books. Now, the tool that Roblox is using is called Hyperion. Some people call it Bifron, some people call it Hyperion. So if you see it change back and forth throughout the comments, that's going to be why. And apparently they've been talking about integrating Bifron for years now, but with this new 64-bit client, they are actually doing so. Now, much like other anti-cheat systems like Easy Anti-Cheat, BattleEye, and many others, it is able to support games running through Wine. In this case, it's not even a matter of including an extra file or anything like that. It is simply just a toggle. Unfortunately, Bifron has an option to prevent the game from running if it's in Wine enabled by default. And Roblox's engineers forgot to disable it, preventing all Linux users that are part of this A-B test from running Roblox at all, even if there's no compatibility issue whatsoever with Wine. And since there's no reason whatsoever to prevent Wine users from using this client, this was most likely accidentally overlooked by Roblox, as there's no official Wine support and updates aren't tested for Wine compatibility. You might think, hey, this was a mistake, this wasn't something that was intended to happen. Well, that's not exactly the case. It's not malicious, but it's not the case. Hello, Jarelvis, I'm going to say is how you say it. Unfortunately, this block was intentional. With the Windows 64-bit client launch, we made the conscious decision to block the use of Wine. We came to this decision due to a combination of security and compatibility concerns. As a Linux user, I'm sure you understand the challenges of the Windows ecosystem. Wine is not officially supported, but we are committed to working towards compatibility where possible. Unfortunately, I cannot provide a specific timeline for this support. However, I assure you that it remains a priority for our team. And as clarified a bit later in the thread, this only applies to the Roblox game player itself, not the Roblox development studio. Now, prior to these comments from BitDancer, this was the only comment from the Roblox staff. And considering that the concerns in here were already addressed by the original comment, it didn't give anyone any hope. They were very concerned, and while most people in here were fairly civil, there were some people saying like, hey, the lack of in advance communication of your plans to block wine is in my honest opinion, disgusting and disappointing. I'd expect better from Roblox. But most other people were being very civil. Now you have me picking between making my server application development workflow suck or making my Roblox workflow really suck. In addition, this eliminates the entire Steam Deck user base. I don't understand why a more intrusive anti-cheat system is preferred option instead of educating developers or making proper server authoritative games. In this case, games means the like the mini games, the games you play inside of Roblox. Are there not enough articles about making your game secure on the developer forum? Feels like a super backwards move towards developer workflow. And also this giant essay explaining everything about Linux gaming and how Roblox is impacted. A statement about Linux plus cheating. 
cheating fundamentally isn't compatible with Linux or Wine in more ways than just software. No modern Roblox exploit, to my knowledge, runs under Wine due to it lacking almost all support for any of the features used by Roblox exploits. And if you want to go and read this, I highly recommend you go and do so. Besides these one-off aggressive comments here and there, can I just say that considering the expected audience of Roblox, I'm really impressed with how civil this forum is. There's a couple of those angry comments, but most people are just being normal. Maybe it's because it's the developer forum, and like a more general forum would be, you know, just a bunch of kids yelling about stuff. But I've been in serious project issue trackers and mailing lists like GNOME, KDE, the Linux kernel, and there's always a lot more aggression than what's going on here. Maybe they just have really strong moderation, but either way, it's a really good nature discussion about the future of the game. And maybe because of this, this is why BitDancer basically decided to live in the thread. Hello Hexy, the guy who wrote the big essay. Thank you for your well thought out post. First and most importantly, we are not trying to punish the use of wine. Our Windows 64-bit client is in some regards quite different from the 32-bit client. We are currently gathering telemetry to analyze and hopefully fix existing issues and prevent future ones from popping up. For this process to work, it is of utmost important to collect data from the intended target operating system, that being Windows. You will also find that we block the usage of virtual machines for the same reason. I hope this clarifies some of the thought process behind the blocking of Wine. As Mr. Eka mentioned before, Wine remains a priority for our team, and we are certainly not deaf to the voices of our community. Mr. Eka was the guy that originally posted the staff message. And to be honest, this is something a lot of FOSS projects could learn from. Communicate with the community and it will quell a lot of the concerns. The reason why people freak out about little changes being made is nothing is being said about them and everybody is just going to run with the most extreme version of the rumor they can think of. Talk to people and they won't be as crazy. There's still going to be some crazy people, but there's going to be less of them. Unknown to me, there is a very small but really dedicated group of Linux Roblox players, and many of them are developers of games inside of Roblox. These, even though they're a very small community, are the exact kind of people you want to keep around. They're the super dedicated people that, unless you literally stop them from playing your game, are always going to be involved. But these two comments are not the only comments made by BitDancer. In response to someone saying, I have some doubts about this, which is hopefully a lack of knowledge about how Roblox collects data at the sheer scale they do. As I'm sure you're aware, Roblox has already been detecting wine usage shortly after it was fixed and long before Bifron was property of Roblox. If Roblox has to intentionally block a small dedicated portion of the community from accessing their platform because it skews analytics, this concerns me greatly in terms of my confidence in Roblox being able to identify and fix issues. I hope you're able to clear the air a bit better as to why this is necessary, especially if official slash unofficial support is considered a priority and on the roadmap. The issue is not so much detecting wine and reporting it via telemetry, but rather the fact that Hyperion crashes compromise processes intentionally. Currently, our 64-bit client is not wine compatible, which means there would be crashes unrelated to Hyperion. Basically, because they're not doing wine testing internally, it's not entirely clear the new client is going to be stable with wine generally. So there's going to be other crashes unrelated to the anti-cheat. Since we are in the early stages of the rollout, we analyze every single crash dump that is uploaded for potential bugs rather than malicious interference. As you can imagine, we're talking about thousands of crash dumps. Adding more to it would be counterproductive. So the idea is we want to get it rolled out. 
and we know that it's going to have to work on Windows. Maybe Wine will happen in the future, but right now, that is not our concern. Right now is finishing the client, so it's much easier to just get rid of those crash reports and focus on our main focus. But here's the problem with all this. If you know the application is running in a Wine environment, there's no reason to block Wine entirely just disable reports related to wine crashes. This is an issue that shouldn't exist. And this is not the only person who said this, then just disable telemetry from being sent from wine clients, which the post proves is something the client is capable of doing. This is an issue that can be fixed without alienating a chunk of the community. This is not how anti-cheat works, as I attempted to explain, the issue is by far more complex. He actually didn't explain it, he explained something completely separate. Someone else said, I would imagine if the process for determining if Roblox crashed is at minimal, an entirely separate process within the Roblox application. Considering Roblox already has tools in place for determining if it's running under Wine, it should then be possible to perform an if not is Wine, then submit logs, based on logs generated from the local application. And he says it is not as simple as an if statement. The Roblox client and Hyperion are decoupled. The crash uploader, which is part of the client, cannot determine why Hyperion caused the process to crash. This sounds like a problem with your crash uploader. If your crash uploader doesn't understand the environment the application is running in, that seems like a bug. If you know the application is running in Wine, that should be part of your crash log. So if it's part of the crash log, you can not send those crashes. Maybe there's just something not being explained here leading to my confusion, but the way that I interpret it, there shouldn't be any reason why that's the case. But regardless, it is the case, and it's basically the way it's going to be for the foreseeable future. So to summarize everything, at this point in time, Hyperion is not compatible with Wine. We have disabled Wine to avoid unnecessary clutter in our telemetry. Even if we could find a way to disable telemetry for Wine only, the client would still not run, so it doesn't make sense to do so. So if you want to play the game, you're basically stuck. Um, go use Windows, I guess or get a VM that is not being detected by their VM detection. Those are pretty much your only options. Now, he sticks around in this discussion for a very long time. Like, there's still another 110 comments, but it starts to go a bit off track, focusing on different things. But he's just, like, in here, replying to comments over and over and over again. I have never seen anyone who is the star for a company being this involved in the community even if their job is as a community manager. Like, I don't know what they're doing over at Roblox, but even if I disagree with their take on their crash uploader, it's really good that they have someone communicating with the public. If they didn't have that, well, this would probably be a much more entertaining drama. We would have a lot of angry comments and lots of rumors going around, and it would be super fun. But... Hey, sometimes it's nice to have things being, you know, smoothed over and not having giant dramas. But that's going to be it for me. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you play Roblox? Do you play Roblox on Linux? Do you have kids who like Roblox and you're one of those people who you only have Linux computers in your house? I would love to know. So if you like this video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one over these amazing people over here check out the patreon scrubs the libero pay linked in the description down below that's gonna be it for me and oof